Big fish. Holy smokes. Big fish, guys, big fish. <gasps> what in the world? No way. No way, no way. You guys are not gonna believe it. From the tail, it looks like a shark. This is not a shark. This is a very special fish. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. There's silence in the darkness, a chaos underneath, a reckoning inside us, calls out from the deep. I am slightly nervous for this episode because I am heading to a spillway that is nearly two hours away, and I have not been there in 10 months. I actually just fished there for the first time last year, and on one of my first trips, I caught a near, near state record size gar. So this spot holds some massive fish. I am hoping we can hook into one today. I have finally made it to the fishing spots and a lot of you might recognize this spillway because I fished here quite a bit last winter and I almost caught a state record gar here. So I cannot wait to get started. Hopefully we'll be able to catch something sizable. I did not bring many bait options with me here today. I actually only brought two and I bet you guys can guess one of them, that being night crawlers. The second bait that I brought is this, I believe it's called a moon eye. I recently caught this. I've heard that it makes good catfish bait. Let's get started. Well guys, I think we might have gotten lucky. I was just looking at the spillway and there is a, appears to be a dead fish floating right here. Let's try to net him. There we go. All right, first catch of the day. It looks like a smallmouth buffalo. Oh, he's actually alive, what? All right, I'm gonna try to release this guy. Looks like he got caught up in that spillway. Let's see if he swims off. Oh, there he goes. See you later, buddy. I will keep an eye out for him because he's uh, he's looking pretty rough. Almost as soon as I let that guy go, he uh, he ended up back on his side. So I don't think this guy's gonna make it. Let's go ahead and put him out of his misery and use him for bait. I'm gonna start by tossing out a chunk of this bait fish. While I wait for something to pick up that bait, I'm gonna to toss around this lure. Fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on, guys. What do we got? Oh my gosh, what in the world is that? Big fish. Holy smokes. Big fish, guys, big fish. <gasps> what in the world? No way. No way, no way, you guys are not gonna believe it. You guys are not gonna believe it. Oh my gosh, please let me land this. Please let me land this. Please let me land this. You guys are not gonna believe what this is. I think I have an idea of what it is. From the tail, it looks like a shark. This is not a shark. This is a very special fish. If I can land this fish, it's a new personal best. I was not expecting this at all. I have a prehistoric monster on the end of my line. Please, 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 please stay on. Please stay on, please stay on. Man, this is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. He is powerful and he is not done yet. Oh my gosh, you guys, do you see that? Not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. I don't know if he's gonna fit in the net. Oh, oh, oh. There, in the net. There we go. Oh, I just caught a really nice sized spoonbill. These get a whole lot bigger than this. But this is by far the biggest one that I've ever caught. It looks like he's got some damage on his bill. That's very unfortunate. 
I'm going to get a quick picture of this guy and then let him go. Oh, what a beast. See you later, buddy. What a crazy catch. Unfortunately though, that guy was not in the best shape. His snot was all messed up. But the good news is we were actually able to remove some fishing line and he fought hard and he swam off really hard. So I am really hopeful for his survival. Let's see what we can catch next. So a little information about that crazy fish that you guys just witnessed. That was called a spoonbill. They're actually filter feeders. So the only way to catch them is by foul hooking them, unfortunately but those fish get very big. That guy, even though that was a monster new PB spoonbill for me, they get a whole lot bigger than that. So that is pretty exciting. Nothing has touched my bait rod yet, so let's continue to toss around this lure. Fish on. Oh my gosh, he's swimming so fast. What in the world is this? Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just caught a massive shad. Check out the size of this shad. That is crazy. Seeing as I'm already keeping that buffalo, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. See you later, buddy. Let's toss a weightless night crawler up inside this spillway to see if there's any fish hiding. There we go, fish on. And it's a little channel catfish. This little guy picked up an entire night crawler. See you later, buddy. Well, it did not take long for something to pick up that night crawler, but it was not a very big fish. I've actually had some decent luck tossing little grubs up inside that spillway in the past. So I'm gonna tie on this little chartreuse curly tail grub to see if anything wants to pick it up. my gosh this is not good guys I just hooked into a big fish I just hooked into a big fish on my ultralight oh, he's swimming up inside the spillway he is literally swimming up inside the spillway I don't know if I'm gonna I do not know if I'm gonna be able to land this fish I'm trying to keep him away from the edges of the spillway because they look sharp. Come on, come out of there. It'll be a miracle if I can land this fish, guys. Oh, man. I don't know how far this spillway goes up in there, but he's got to be running out of room. All right, I'm getting some line back. And he's taking it. He did not like that at all. I might run out of line. I might actually run out of line. There's no way this spillway goes that far. Ooh, I did not like to feel that. I think he came off. No, he's swimming towards me. I was caught up on something inside the spillway, but we're free. He's outside the tunnel. He's right here, but he's on the bottom. Honestly, oh my gosh. At this point, I just want to see what it is. Oh, there it is right there. What in the world is that? I saw a glimpse of it, still not positive on what it is. And he's just not giving up. It appears to be either a silver or big head carp. Dang it. That's unfortunate. There we go, in the net. It's illegal to release these fish once caught, so I'm gonna go ahead and flay them up and take them home to put them in the freezer. Not a single bite on this bait rod, so let's go ahead and switch it out with something else. I think I'm actually going to go for broke and toss out that giant buffalo head. That is a monstrous bait. Here we go.
All right, I'm doing a little combo rig. I've got a small jig head, and on there I have an entire night crawler. This, uh, this spillway actually has a surprising amount of current flowing through it, so a little weight should help keep the worm down. Here we go. Here we go, fish on. And it's another almost identically sized channel catfish. But I guess small ones are better than nothing. See you later, buddy. And channel catfish <clears throat> number three. You'd think with this many small ones being down there, there would be at least one decent sized guy, but I have yet to catch a decent sized catfish from beneath this spillway. Got something sizable. Okay. We got something very sizable. Bigger than what I thought. Oh my god! It's a monster. It is a monster. Holy smokes. Jesus. I don't know what I'm gonna do guys. There is no way I'm gonna be able to land this fish. Absolutely no way. I was fishing with a tiny jig with a small piece of night crawler on it. All right, he's officially swimming up inside the spillway at this point. And uh, he's not stopping, so <laughs> we will see. For a while, he was just hanging out right here in this water, directly beneath those tunnels. But he has decided to swim up inside the tunnel now. All right, I think I got him out of the tunnel. That current definitely helped tire this fish down. So he originally swam inside that left tunnel. Now he has currently decided he is going to swim up the right tunnel. This is one of the hardest fighting fish that I have hooked into in quite some time. All right, we're getting him out of that second tunnel now. Uh-oh, I think we're wrapped around something. I think we're wrapped around some, it looks like little stairs on the inside of that spillway. I don't think we're gonna be able to land this fish. Dang it. Darn it. It broke off, guys. That is unfortunate. I would have liked to have landed him, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Darn. The sun has set, it's getting chilly, and it's been a while since my last bite, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Today's fishing adventure went a whole lot better than what I was expecting. Not only am I going home with a ton of bait, but I was able to land a really cool fish, that being that really big spoonbill. So all in all, I had a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it. If you left a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one. All right, well, I just snagged and lost my expensive lure, so uh, I have tied on another. All right, I think I got him out of the tunnel. Now he has currently decided he is going to swim up the right tunnel.